Hi guys, it's Kimberly from Swimworthy, and today I am going to show you my John Lewis haul. It was sunny today, and as I know I've complained, unfortunately, a lot about on the blog. We haven't had the best summer in the world, and I just thought today, because it was beautiful and it was sunny out, I decided, in the immortal words of Park and Recreation, to treat myself. So that's what I kind of did. I went into John Lewis and I just bought a few bits and pieces for the house and I thought today that I would share those things with you in a video. It was partially inspired by my blogger friend Sarah Aquasambi. And I don't know if you've checked out her blog or if you've checked out her YouTube channel, but she's another UK blogger. She's got very cool style. So if you haven't, you should check her out. I'll link her down below. And she recently did a video on 10 things that she had bought for her home recently. And it was just kind of cute and kind of nice. And so, yeah, I'm kind of stealing her idea. Thank you, Sarah. But uh, I thought that might be kind of fun. So this was the first thing that I picked up. And it's not something for the house necessarily, it was just something that I thought was pretty, so I thought I'd share it. And it's new fragrance-ish from Lancome, um, La Vie Aspel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but the lady at the counter was really lovely and really nice. And um, again, I'm kind of a sucker. And so if you give me a really nice lady and she's saying nice things, I will probably buy off of you. So yeah, and basically, I'm basically a marketer's dream. So she was really sweet and um, it, it does actually smell really lovely and it's like sort of really light floral fragrance and I thought it'd be nice for whatever summer we have left. So yeah, that was the first thing I bought. Not necessarily for the house, but I just thought I'd share. And just to be honest with you, I haven't treated myself, treat yourself, I haven't treated myself to a new perfume in probably about a year or something, maybe maybe longer. So I was I was well overdue, well overdue for this. So that was my first thing. There's kind of a little bit of a fragrance theme going on in my shopping today, but to to carry on that theme, I bought this reed diffuser set. It's by Lily Flame, and the fragrance that I bought is called Blush, as you can see. And it comes in this beautiful pink and gold packaging, which again, as I said, marketing dream, I'm a sucker for nice packaging. So I saw this and I thought it was really cute. I haven't opened this yet, so I'll do so. I'll do so now. But there is, um, there's your reed diffusers. And then you've got this glorious pink paper. Now, I thought the little bottles for the fragrance diffuser was quite cute in the store, so that's another reason why I bought it, but um, yeah. So it looks like that, and it smells really nice and fresh. And I thought this I would probably use in the bathroom, or I mean it could go anywhere really, but I might, I'll probably end up using it in the bathroom. And I don't know if if you've read on the blog, but if you have, um, you'll know that we've got a new puppy and his name is Kito and he's absolutely gorgeous and he's a lot of fun and he's really lovely, but he is potty training at the moment. So the way I figure, the more nice smelling things we have around the house, the better. So yeah, that's why I picked that up. So that was that. The next thing that I picked up, again, probably for the bathroom, and as soon as you'll see this, you'll know why I bought it. So it's just a really pretty wrapped soap, and it's got gold on it, but also it's got leopard print, which I love. So it smells all right. It doesn't smell bad, <laughs> but I didn't buy it for the smell. I bought it for the packaging, and it's called Chic Animalier, Animalier? I Neste Dante is the maker of it. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but it doesn't really matter. But I just thought it'd be pretty, to be honest with you, every room, it, as far as I'm concerned, could use a little bit of leopard print. Not overflow, not like going crazy with leopard print, not covering every wall with it. 
maybe no but I did really just think this is cute and there's a little tiny touch here and there of leopard print it looks really chic so I thought maybe uh, in a little bowl or something like that or next to the sink it could just look pretty um, and added just a touch of pattern to the space so yeah that's why I picked up that that was um, six pounds and the reed diffuser was 20 pounds so yeah that's that the next thing I bought again probably for the bathroom. I, I do want to just say that I was inspired to buy this by another blogger friend, Kirsten from Bliss at Home. Uh, she's recently redone her bathroom. She's done a complete remodel on her bathroom and it is absolutely gloriously gorgeous, the makeover. It's all marble and white and black and gold and it's super chic and super lovely and she had, I loved every single detail in that bathroom remodel, but she had all these like really lovely soaps and soap dispensers and um, like hand pumps of like body lotion and hand lotion and things like that. And the make that they were, I couldn't get here in the UK. She's a US blogger. So um, when I saw this in John Lewis, it sort of reminded me of the ones that Kirsten had. So this is by Plum and Ashby, and it's green fig and lavender hand and body lotion. It smells really nice. Again, this fragrance theme, I'm obsessed at the moment, I think, with smells. But so it's, con it's fragrance with all natural essential oils and things like that, which I quite like because it's natural. And this was, this was 20 pounds, which granted is a little bit expensive for a hand lotion, but I just want to say this. Do you hear that? That's a glass bottle, which means that if you buy something like this, like I have purely for the aesthetics, when this is finished, you just refill it. And you can refill it with something really inexpensive, like from the supermarket or from, you know, the drugstore or from Boots or wherever you want to go. But these kinds of bottles are just so pretty to have out that even if you refill it, okay, so it probably won't smell as good as the original, but even if you refill it, no one's going to notice. So yeah, I will, even though I spent a little bit for this, I do think because the bottle itself is so nice that I will definitely reuse it in the future, so it's fine. So this will probably again go in the bathroom. I must be obsessed with my bathroom at the moment. I'm clearly craving a few changes in there. So this will probably go in the bathroom as well. I don't know yet. It might go next to the sink in the kitchen, but I do really thought, I just thought it was a nice bottle and just something pretty to have out on the counters rather than the kind of ugly plastic bottles of hand soap and hand lotions and things that you would normally get. But just something like this is just purely decorative and, and pretty and it smells good. So, you know, win-win. So that's that. The next thing I wanted to show you, oh, I just do, I do want to say before I show you this, that you know how obsessed I am with accessories and little bits and bobs. I buy little things like this for my home fairly often. And you will know if you read my blog that one of the best ways to refresh a room and make it feel and look different is by swapping around your accessories, so moving accessories from one room to another. And it's just a really simple, completely inexpensive way to just refresh a space. So I tend to pick these things up here and there when I can. If I see something that catches my eye that looks interesting, I might not know exactly where it's going to go, but I'll always grab it. And I'll show you this one. Now this one I got in the clearance section, which is brilliant. And it was originally 15 pounds and I got it for seven pounds 50. But basically it's a little gold peanut and it's ceramic and you can put little bits and bobs in it, which is kind of cute and handy. But something like this is because it's a, because it's in sort of a neutral in the sense that it's a metallic gold. I've got brass and gold everywhere in my house. So it doesn't matter which room it goes in. I don't have to worry about it complementing a color scheme or anything like that because it's it's a metallic these kinds of things they suit anywhere so you can put them on you know maybe a, a on a, a tray or on the top of a stack of books or on a shelf somewhere or you can put it next to your bed and hold your jewelry but little things like this if you see things like this and you like them even if you don't know exactly where it's going to go i promise you probably find a home for it but they're just nice handy little things this is you know, I got this for half price. It's a good deal. It's, you know, it's quite heavy. It feels like it's well made. And it's just adds a little bit of 
of glamour, it adds a little bit of texture, you know, it's a nice sort of shape. So yeah, I thought stuff like that, I will always kind of pick up little bits and bobs like that because they're just great around the house and you can really just use them anywhere. So that was my little, my bargain buy. And then my last is this, this little bad boy. Oh, I knocked over the stuff. This little bad boy. Um, and I got him, he was really inexpensive as well. I got him for five pounds. And essentially, it's a little, I don't know if you can see that from here, but it's a little brass lobster. <laughs> I love having little things like this around the house because these are great in vignettes. If you've got a vignette where you've got lots of larger items, having something small like this is just wonderful to just, you know, just pop on as well. And the fact that something like this is quite unusual because it's a lobster, and I like my weird. I like things that are a little bit different and the odd bit and piece in a room where people kind of look at it and think, what is that or why does she have that in there? And that's a good thing. That's like conversation starters. So you want those kinds of things in your house. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I bought this. Again, I don't know where it's gonna end up. I just thought it was really cute and it was only five pounds and it's it's made of metal. So, you know, it's kind of, it's nice quality, but I thought that was kind of cute and kind of unusual. It could even go on like a, a table setting. It could go anywhere really. So something like that. I love things like that. So yeah, I picked that up as well. So that is my entire haul from John Lewis today. Thank you so much for watching and what I intend to do in the future is to, I'll do another blog post where I'll show you where all of these items sort of ended up in my home and I thought that might be kind of fun so you can see these bits and pieces, why I bought them, what my kind of thought process was when I purchased them and then how I'm going to actually use them in the house. So I thought that might be something kind of different and kind of fun so hopefully you'll enjoy that in the future so watch out for that. In the meantime, I just want to say a massive thank you for watching once again. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys to bits and have a wonderful rest of your day. This is the beginning, this is the beginning of anything you want.